You want questions or are you going to open? Hey, do I need to do some of this volume at all here? Can you not hear? I need to hear. Can y'all hear me? Uh, yeah, I'll start with a statement. Um, you know, obviously, congratulations to Iowa. Uh, very good team, very difficult to guard. I thought that stretch in the second half, uh, obviously, Garza was, was really good and was good around the basket, but was, was terrific from three and pick and pop and space in the floor. But, you know, very, very good basketball team. I uh, thought we had, showed minutes of from us, you know, in segments of being a good basketball team down the road. Uh, we just got to build on that. But obviously, tough second half and you know, learn from it. Steve, Xavier played extended minutes tonight for the first time. What are your thoughts on the way he played? I thought the first half, um, his first time in there, he was he was really good. Um, I thought he was really good. Um, you know, they were in man a lot, and um, we kind of ran our middle ball screen action. And we were able to get a couple good good possessions out of that. Um, and then they went zone, kind of primarily stayed in zone the rest of the game after that. And obviously, we had we had good moments against the zone and some, some obviously in the second half, some poor moments. But uh, later in the first half, when uh, we sent them back in and they were really small, they had McCaffrey at the four. Um, you know, defensively, you know, struggle a little bit, but, you know, we need to get them out there on the floor and find ways to get them out there just to, just to kind of grow some confidence and, and see how he can help us this year. But I did think he showed some flashes at times. Steve, how do you hope you guys regroup from tonight? How do you hope you guys regroup from tonight? Man, I told the guys, I've been telling them, man, this December is going to be a, about uh, basketball. through, you know, going into some tough environments. And I mean that obviously there's no fans. We're playing really good teams and the landscape of Iowa's and on the road at West Virginia next next week. Uh, we got open up league play next week with K-State at home. But, um, you know, I talked to them for a long time in the locker room just about, you know, um, you know, what this thing's about, you know, what what matters to me, you know, what matters to, to Iowa State. Um, and we just got to keep growing. You know, I know everybody's going to point fingers at this one game. I get it. I've been through it. I understand it. Um, but I got to have a bigger vision. I got to have a God-sized vision. And I got to understand that. I got to believe that. I got to be faithful to that. And, um, I, and, I, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And so I got to continue to talk to those guys about understanding the process of, you know, of staying the course, of, of trying to become a good basketball team. And I know in December was going to be – we like this at times for us right now until we figure out, you know, what it takes and, and, and the, align, the alignments that we need to go with. What's the weight that these guys are carrying with everything that they have to do because of the pandemic, you know, the mental and physical toll that takes, and then they're not getting rewarded with victories early on here? Yeah, I mean, man, we're, we're going through all this for a reason. You know, I read some stuff today I shared with the guys, and – going through this for a reason, you know, whether it's whether it's the tough games with, with Iowa, South Dakota State, further games down the road, obviously with the pandemic. Um, but how are you going to respond to that? Um, how are you going to deal with that? Um, you know, you know, life's precious. So I just, you know, we, we, we just got to keep pushing forward. Um, you know, we've got really good kids. You know, we got to keep challenging them to grow in their basketball character uh, and understand how we want to play and what we do. And that's just a good process. Uh, I think they're doing okay. Obviously, I think they're disappointed and humbled tonight. No question about that. But um, I think they're doing okay with, with you know, all the things that come with being a, a college student athlete during a, during a worldwide pandemic. Um, their, their academics were really good. Uh, Solomon graduated the other day. Uh, I mean, but un obviously understand they're all, we're all judged by wins and losses. And uh, so I know they're hurt right now as well as I am. What does George need to do to, to pick up his game? Got to compete, got to compete. 
what did you guys do during the first half when you were able to make your run that you feel like you can build on? Well, I thought, I mean, if you watch it, you see it. I mean, if you follow basketball, I mean, I thought our activity on the defensive end, I thought Tyler really bothered Bohannon. So I think those three guards are terrific. Bohannon, you know, Frederick and uh, Wieskamp. Wieskamp's terrific. But I thought Tyler really bothered him. Uh, they put McCaffrey, then they let McCaffrey kind of initiate offense. Uh, but I thought that 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 rev was up. I thought we were able to push and transition. Rod got downhill. We played off our middle ball screen. Um, we just attacked better with better purpose. I thought for the most part, took the lead. I think in the 30s. I forget what it was, 36 or 35, 34. Um, the last three minutes of the first half was terrible. That was the difference in the game, outside of the, the start of the second half. But that last three minutes of the first half was huge. But um, you know, but it's just the, the second chance points, you know, Nunji kind of kicked our tail in the first half, you know, things like that that just can't happen when you already got four four guys you're worried about, the three perimeter guys and obviously Garza. You uh, did some different lineup things tonight with the, the starting lineup and then playing two bigs. What were you looking for uh, in each instance? Man, we're, we're learning on the fly. And that's why, you know, uh, you know I'm, I'm not a big trying to change lineup guy. You know what I mean? I, I like kind of having my seven, eight guys and rolling with it, uh, but we haven't had a chance to really figure it out yet. And so, um, you know, we wanted to see what some different guys look like in different situations. Um, and uh, and some was really positive. Like I said, I mean, we were we were right there the last three minutes of the first half, and it really got away from us. I should have got a timeout probably, even if it was my second one, just to – keep it at six or eight because we came out of the timeout and, and executed, but it was, but it was up to 10 or 12 by that point. But, um, you know, I need to look at those lineups and just see, you know, who we need to focus on, but we just need it. We're off tomorrow. We have to be off tomorrow, but Sunday, we just got to get back in there and, and, and get the work and be dialed in. We just got to develop a, a tougher mindset and understanding of what we're trying to get done. And the thing about it is if you're going to play four guards, and this is what I talked to the guys about, if you're going to play four guards, you got to free flow in any spot. If, if, if we can't free flow in any spot, it's hard to run four guards unless we just want to walk up into a set and everybody just runs to set spots. You know, I don't really like doing it. I'd rather just free flow into spots and play and got to move the ball better. Did uh, Javen give you what you were looking for offensively tonight? Like, yeah, I, mean, I thought in moments he did, you know, I, he did. And then, you know, we just got to, we, we, we got to figure out a guy. It's been such an important spot that middle of the zone. Uh, we got to figure out who our best, best, best guy in the middle of the zone is. Uh, I thought we struggled in the second half of of really getting the ball in the middle of the zone. A, getting a guy there, but B, understanding the gaps and the open areas that you got to find. And that's been obviously a, a big spot for us over the years. And so we just got to continue to work on that. But, you know, Javen offensive, we need to be aggressive, um, you know, from three and, and off the dribble, uh, whether he's at the four or, He's one of the guys got to play a lot of positions for us. I think we're good, Steve. Thank you. Thanks, guys.